So today was my last day at Umpqua Hot Springs and I had a very like interesting experience again. I feel like this is a little bit like video diary or something. Um, I had a massive amount of revelations or what I might now call my uh, hot springs musings. So as I was in one of the springs, there was a couple that came and they got in to the hot, one of the pools and they were in it for just a millisecond. They had their friend take a picture of them. So they got into the hot springs to get their pictures. They did their thumbs up for the camera and they immediately got out of the hot springs. And like literally they didn't even stay at the springs. Like they didn't hang out and soak. They just got in to the tub, <laughs> got their picture and they left. And I just thought they got a picture of their experience but did they really experience it? You know, did they feel the water, the temperature of the water? Did they even hear the rushing of the river that was going by? Um, their hands were touching the rock, but did they feel the rock? All the different contours of the rock, the algae that was growing on parts of the rock that made certain parts slipperier than others, the sandy kind of dirt bottom, uh, the different contours that were in the, the pool that you could rest in different ways on. Um, they missed so many experiences in, in my, my perception, right? And it just really got me thinking about more about our how we experience the world and how much of the world we're really experiencing and our reaction to the world around us. And we're so, you know, like we eat food, but do we really taste it? Do we really experience it? We take a shower, but do we really feel it? Uh, we drive our car, you know, are we paying attention to how our hands feel on the steering wheel and our butt in the seat? I mean, there's so many things to experience and I feel like most, and I'm speaking for my own self, that I'm in such a hurry to get to the destination or the outcome that I want, uh, that I miss the present moment. I miss this plethora of experiences. I miss feeling my life we've like we've numbed our major organ of our body and of our mind complex that's our feeling our sense of feeling we've numbed this organ and yeah you know i feel like you know when we're sleepy do we even know if we're sleepy anymore we often bypass that and just keep scrolling uh are we hungry I think, you know, many of us have lost touch with that too. We just eat when we're told to eat or when we're allowed to eat because we're working at certain times or, you know, we eat because, oh, well, you're eating, so I should eat or, you know, whatever, you know, are we really eating because we're hungry because we're feeling the urge for hunger. We've lost the sense of feeling, this feeling of this urge for, for hunger. So we've lost touch with our, our sensory world is what I am feeling and that I'm reclaiming this sensory world. Um, you know, if an animal lost its sensory world, its ability to perceive the world and perceive itself and if it's hungry and all of its primal nature and its intuitive nature and its instinct nature, it would likely die. If an animal lost that, it would likely die it would become easy prey. And then I think, well, how much of, of us are living? How much of us are really, are really living? I think we're living in our brain, we're living in our logic, you know, but we're not living in our, um, our intuitive nature and our felt sense um, and our, in, a, in our, ability to be experiencing the world through our feeling state, our heart state. 